all in progression one. This fun exercise allows babies to experience how it is to move on their own. It also strengthens the muscles in their legs and back. Place your baby onto their stomach and position their arms in front of them, a shoulder width apart. When they are happy and settled in this position, push their feet so that they kick back and propel forwards. Make sure that their arms have time to move forwards before you push their feet again, as otherwise they can buckle. If you are carrying out this exercise on a hard surface, it is a good idea to put a quilt or blanket under your baby so it's a bit softer for their knees. Crawl in progression 2. This exercise trains your baby's sensory and motor skills as well as coordination and balance. It is step number 2 in the crawl in transition. It is always a good idea to use a soft non-slip surface. Place your baby on all fours with your arm supporting them under their chest. Your arm takes your baby's body weight as they try to crawl forwards. This exercise enables them to experience the feeling of crawling without them having to struggle. It should encourage them to try for themselves as well. Crawl in progression 3. This exercise trains your baby's sensory and motor skills as well as coordination and balance. It is step number 3 in the crawl in transition. It's always a good idea to use a soft non-slip surface. Take a hand towel and fold it, place it flat on the floor. Position your baby so that the hand towel is under your baby's chest. Take hold of both ends of the towel so that you can support your baby's weight with it. You can either take their full body weight through the towel or a partial part, depending on how your baby reacts to the exercise. A good indication that they can take part of their body weight is if they have a strong arm position and do not look like they will collapse face down. The wheelbarrow. This exercise trains your baby's arms, shoulders and neck muscles as well as their coordination. Place your baby onto all fours and then take hold of them around their hips and lift their legs off of the ground. Make sure you do not lift them so high that you extend their back. Just lift enough so that they can take their body weight through their arms and shoulders. Place one of their favourite toys a small distance away so that they have something to motivate them to go forwards. 
This exercise is really good crawling training. Crawling Progression 4. This exercise trains your baby's sensory and motor skills as well as coordination and balance. It is step number 4 in the crawling transition. It is always a good idea to use a soft non-slip surface. Your baby should be able to be on all fours and hold their body weight without any support from you. Place your baby on all fours to encourage them to crawl forwards, take one of their favourite toys and place it a short distance in front of them. This should motivate them to try and crawl forwards. Remember to encourage your baby throughout this exercise. If they fall flat onto their stomach, give them a few seconds to try and get onto all fours again by themselves. If they begin to get frustrated or upset, you should of course help them. 